The creators of Bump would like to thank all of you for making the Bump experiment a success. We set out to start a conversation and we really didn't know if it would succeed. Uh, lots of people have paid lip service to the fact, uh, including most of our recent presidents, about trying to move past the political rhetoric and to try to really find solutions to tough problems. Creating Bump, we, we tried to tackle probably the most controversial subject in America today and see if we couldn't move past the political rhetoric. So the baby you're carrying is by another man. The fetus. <laughs> the medical terms, please. It's the way people talk. I felt the baby kick. It prejudiced the whole conversation. The only thing that it, we didn't know was whether or not the audience would respond. And you guys did respond. You made the experiment succeed. And I think going forward, Bump is a model for how conversation around sensitive issues should start. It shouldn't start from whether you're pro-choice or whether you're pro-life. It should start from the fact that we're all part of humanity. Today we're going to hear for some, from some of the creators behind Bump, as well as some videos from some of the audience members that were really a big part of making Bump a success. I'm launching satellites in your direction Hoping to find some way to communicate My number one complaint, <laughs> I only get one, uh, that would be that you're trivializing a really important decision and you're belittling these women. I think I was a little taken aback by the, the concept of the show when I first heard about it. I was really intrigued because it seemed to me an opportunity to spark a conversation that I didn't think was happening anywhere between people of lots of different viewpoints about um, abortion, which had become a taboo subject in American society. I first heard about it on Facebook on a pro-choice discussion group, and I thought it was an excellent idea. Um, people don't talk about this. People don't talk about real women. They don't talk about the real situations they get into, and they don't talk about the, the thought process that goes into a woman making a decision about her unplanned pregnancy. So I thought it was outstanding from jump. When I first heard about Bump, I got a knot in my stomach. I, I was um, pretty, <laughs> um, pretty taken aback by the idea. That was because I thought it was about real women, and I and I thought it was a little bit invasive to to think about doing any kind of a reality show with with real people really in this situation. I first heard about it on on the radio on News Talk 1010. Um, and actually, I was thinking that it might be uh, uh, pro-life propaganda. It was really just a matter of, <clears throat> let's show this issue as it is honestly, and let people talk about it. I can't talk to anyone about this in my world. Could it just be to, um, to, um, you can talk to me. Our audience has been fantastic about telling us their stories and telling us what they think on the Bump website. Uh, I have been particularly moved when I've seen people who clearly disagree with one another taking pains to really hear what somebody else thinks, trying hard to understand what the other point of view is. Um, coming to one another's defense, coming to the defense of people they disagree with. Uh, I think that has been, uh, it's been beautiful to me, it's been moving to me, and it's made the entire experiment, uh, in my mind, a huge success. Sometimes you just want to talk and discuss and have someone understand your feelings and your point of view, and those really don't have a place in debate or dis in other discussion groups. Especially what I like about the Bump platform, the Bump, the message boards that are happening there is that they really are a safe place for women to share their stories and their experiences. There was always one comment. But your group, your, uh, your crew handled everything very well. I really saw the human side 
of people who have had abortions and people who are pro-choice and who really believe that abortion is a good thing. I really saw that human side of them through Bump. And that was so valuable to me because I knew it up here, but I had never conversed and interacted um, particularly with pro-choice people before. And the audience itself really started to self-police and say, this is not what Bump's about. Bump's about listening to the stories. And some of the stories that were shared by women were, were absolutely phenomenal. And it really started to highlight the need for a safe, non-judgmental place for women to share those stories. It was really gratifying to see people reaching out and honestly caring about somebody and defending them, even if you didn't agree. Whether you're pro-choice or pro-life or somewhere in the middle, you can join the conversation and talk about it without prejudice and without anybody else who's talking about it or anybody on the show be prejudiced against you. What is going to happen when you get home? What if I tell you the truth? I, I think it's really allowed people to see the humanity beyond the debate. And for me, that's, that's paramount and, and that's huge. And, and if we've been able to do that and kind of lift the mask off this issue, I think we've really um, achieved what we set out to. People are human beings and they deserve the dignity of having their opinion said and you need to understand where they're coming from because I think most people generally have the best intentions at heart. And my word, we all make mistakes, but um, I think a lot of times we do it for genuine reasons. People don't always just viciously decide to do something just because they want to be vicious. I think anyone who's going to be who was pro-life before is going to still stick to their pro-life philosophy, and, and anyone who's pro-choice is probably not going to change their minds based on this. Um, I know I didn't change my mind, um, but it did. It there were parts of it that made me think, and I think. Um, it's just important to have a dialogue, and this is a, this is a really different way. Um, I, I've gone to a lot of message boards where they were talking about this, the, the same topic, and it's always a kind of a back and forth debate. The, someone says abortion is wrong, someone else says no, women need a choice, and it's just, a, it, they, it's just the same thing over and over again. This time we weren't really talking about that, we were talking about Kate and Haley, and Denise and what they should be doing and that was that's it's much better because it makes it more real. I hope it changed a lot. I hope it got people on both sides to understand where the other side is coming from. I hope that pro-lifers understand that a woman is not evil. She's not um, uncaring and I hope um, pro-choicers understand where pro-lifers are coming from and their concerns. Because we could still have a conversation and that's a good starting point and that's, I think that's all Bump was trying to do was start something here, start a conversation. I want to thank the Bump audience for showing up episode after episode, in many ways trusting us as the storytellers when they had no idea where we were going and if we were some kind of propaganda ploy, if we were from one side or the other side, or if we would really do what we said we were going to do, which was tell these stories as honestly and fairly as we possibly could, and allow them to share their stories, whatever they were, on our website. Um, they have gone on this journey with us, and they have participated in a conversation that I'm not aware has happened anywhere else in the world. And for that, I applaud them, I thank them, and I admire them. I'm launching satellites in your direction Hoping to find some way to communicate